Hey guys, it's Shali. Hello, this is Dasol. And we're here with another Let's Talk FFBE. Let's Talk FFBE. Yes, and what is on the menu today? So today, well, now that we are finally getting seven star mm -hmm. uh, awakening, awakened units, um, it's time to talk <laughs> about how to level up, how to effective, eff efficiently level up your units because right. seven star awakened units are going to eat a lot, a lot of experience points in order to get to their full potential at level 120. And when, when, when thinking about um, seven stars, mm -hmm. don't, um, don't take it in the same like scale as the scale between like how to max up five star and how to star. max up mm -hmm. six star is going to take mind-blowing amounts of experience to, in order to get them to max but i shouldn't be scaring you guys too much <laughs> um it's definitely possible right. and with like all these raids we are having every like month or so um, definitely possible and uh, here we're going to um, talk about some how to effectively make use of your captures exactly and i think this hasn't come up as a serious topic before because it's not something that you immediately think about mm -hmm. um, as an essential part of the game but mm -hmm. fusion rates no. are becoming very important mm -hmm. or more important than e ever before mm -hmm. because they do help you to mm -hmm. get that experience up Mm -hmm. after a certain point. There's only so much that your characters can do alone, like by themselves as a fusion material. Mm -hmm. We need to understand how to use the system to our advantage to get the most out Indeed. of those fusion materials. All right, and without further ado, uh, let's, get, let's get, get into the details. All right, first of all, let's start out with how much experience points is actually needed to max out uh, the seven star unit to, uh, well, we mentioned that uh, if you awaken a six star unit to a seven star, it's going to start out at 101 mm -hmm. um, instead of going back to uh, level, level one. one. Right. Um, so let's uh, talk about how much experience it's going to take to get uh, 101 fresh of, uh, out of six star unit to mm -hmm. 100, 120, which is going to be the max level for seven star. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, first of all, before before we go into actual the actual experience point needed, um, let me start out with uh, how much experience points the characters, m metal characters give you. Mm -hmm. So metal gigantur mm -hmm. uh, is going to give you thirty thousand experience points mm -hmm. per um, per character. Per, per character. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, King Metal Miniature, Miniature yes. is going to give you uh, 100,000 experience points per um, per unit. Yeah. <coughs> and t in order to get a unit to one to one hundred from 101 to 120, it's going to take a total of. Hmm, let me just <laughs> try count this. Mm -hmm. uh, 4.5 billion experience points. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say billion? Billion. Okay. Billion as in billion. Okay, billion as in how many zeros is that? Nine? Mm, yeah. Yes, I'm terrible at math, you guys. I've told you this a, a billion times. Ah, see, I'm already applying what I'm learning. Good job. In, in order to just um, raise it with normal Metal Miniature Kings, it's mm. going to take, what, how much is it going to take? Uh, it's so King Metal <laughs> Minotaurs, I believe, if you have maxed them out at level 60, then mm -hmm. you only need 10, 10. of them. Mm -hmm. So that's the ideal amount. You don't want to be spending more than that. But at the same time, that means that the King Metal Minotaur needs to be at level 60 mm -hmm. for this number yeah. of 10 to mm -hmm. be possible. So if you are fusing King Metal Minotaurs that are still at level 1, mm -hmm you're going to need way more than just 10 yeah. to get your 7-star unit from 101 to 120 mm -hmm. level-wise. So Gig Gigantur is maxed at m level max, which is going to be level 40. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to need 35 of those, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, save yourself some space and 
go for the Metal King, uh, yeah, King, the, the King, King Metal Miniatures. King Metal Miniature. yes. really that. They have really long names, mm -hmm. but <laughs> that's okay. So yeah. it is possible to do that with um, Gigantors. It's mm -hmm. just that um, not only will it take more Gigantors to achieve the same thing, it will take a lot longer mm -hmm. for you to like fuse those yeah. together to get your Gigantor to level 40. Mm -hmm. And you'll need 35 level 40 Gigantor. So mm -hmm. having to <coughs> even imagine how many times you have to fuse these one by one, it's like, it's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go with the King Metal Minotaurs. They are the fastest, most efficient way yeah. to get your seven star to level one. Mm -hmm. All right, and we've been talking about having to max out your cactuars in mm -hmm. order to get the experience that you need to max out your seven star, mm -hmm. right? But how do we go about maxing out a cactuars level? Yeah. Well, we have to fuse cactuars with other cactuars, and we're going to show you just how to do that right now. Right now, I have a level nine um, miniature, miniature, uh -huh. and the other the other ones are level one, mm -hmm. one miniatures. Well, what you do is just take a level one miniature mm -hmm. and combine the higher level miniature. Uh, let me. So, take the high high level miniature mm -hmm. and combine it into the level one miniature. Correct. So, when we are filming this, um, we don't have the amazing enhancements live, so. Um, it's going to be that much harder for us to get a great success or amazing success. Mm -hmm. But it's not unheard of and it's not impossible, even if you do fuse them um, when the event is not going on. But when mm -hmm. the event is going on, that's exactly when you want to be fusing them because that's when you can reap the benefits of those higher fusion mm -hmm. rates that are available. Yeah, and uh, um, just to give you a hint of how um, how exactly higher how exactly high the chances of um, great and amazing successes mm -hmm. will be during those during during that campaign. Mm -hmm. um, great success is actually going to be a whooping fifty percent cool. success rate, Excellent. and amazing is going to come out once every ten times ten, 10 percent. Yes. So you are going to get. It's it's going to make a real real big difference, um, even if you don't tr um, do this um, gigantur combining trick. Mm -hmm. um, you're effectively be going to get at least um, thirty percent, forty percent more mileage out of your characters. Mm -hmm. But if you, the thing about ch combining higher level characters into low le lower lower level characters is that every time you um, combine the higher level character, you're actually going to get a chance to get a great or uh, amazing success rate. And since the character that you are going to combine into your um, level one character is going to be worth a lot of experience points, mm -hmm. um, for example, even even for um, this level 16. Right, 400k. Mm -hmm. um, King, King Metal Miniature mm -hmm. um, is worth um, 400k. Mm -hmm. And at great success, it's going to be 600k. Mm -hmm. At amazing success, it's going to be worth 800,000k. Mm -hmm. And again, the trick is to fuse them one by one, but fusing the higher level King Metal Minotaur to the lower level Minotaur Correct. each time, yeah. not the other way around. Mm -hmm. So that if the great success or amazing success happens, mm -hmm. that is the Cactuar that gets the experience multiplier mm -hmm. for the lower level Cactuar. And it's going to save you like so many fusion materials. You're going to be able Indeed. to get your you know level sec uh, 60 mini tours in no time during mm -hmm. these amazing enhancement events. So this is the time for you guys to, you know, again, use those raid events to collect as many type of Cactuars as you can, mm -hmm. whether they're Gigantors, whether they're King Metal mini tours. Save them up for amazing enhancements, and yeah. once the event comes, just go crazy. Yeah. And it's very time consuming, so you do have to be like determined to sit there <laughs> and fuse them one by one, but the, it, it, is, it is so worth it, because yeah. if you don't take advantage of that, it's going to take even longer mm -hmm. for you to get your seven star to level 120. Yeah. So you, you have to just sacrifice a little bit of time, <laughs> but it is definitely worth it, yeah. worth all the effort. Well, we haven't 
really discussed fusion rates in the past, mm -hmm. so this was a new topic for us to cover today, but mm -hmm. very interesting and now very important with seven stars coming out. Yeah. With this information, hopefully you can get a few of, well, enough experience to level up seven star units to level max, mm -hmm. at least a few, a few of them. Okay, well, that does it for us today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Leave comments below, tell us your thoughts or whatever other topics you'd like us to cover. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>